This video is an overview of your first assignment for the course, assignment number zero, number zero because we count from zero in computer science. Part one of this assignment, hello world, you've already seen the solution to this in, in lecture and I've actually given you the screenshots on the web page showing you step by step how to, how to go about it in the Eclipse IDE. So that should be pretty straightforward. Part two, Madlib. You're going to create a program called madlib.java. It's going to take four command line arguments. It's going to use those four command line arguments to fill in slots in a particular Madlib. Uh, don't get confused. You're not making a program that can do all sorts of different Madlibs. It just does this specific uh, old McDonald Madlib. If you give it the input old farm cow and moo, it will print out the uh, old McDonald had a farm Madlib, or if you give it some other input like ugly wart slug hiccup, it will print out something different. You'll be filling in. There's I've color coded the example. All right, your output doesn't need to be color coded. It's just showing you that the first argument on the command line is getting filled in here in this position, and it's also appearing in the last sentence. All right, for these given inputs, you should get exactly this text. All right, in my courses, I treat the assignment page as the contract. I want you to implement it as uh, specified on the assignment page. Uh, we do this not just, I don't mean to stifle your creativity, but uh, computer science is largely, you know, are um, somewhat about attention to detail, and we want you to pay attention to the details in the assignment description. It also helps our TA grade things. He'll be using uh, semi-automated process using some grading scripts and if you freeform the assignments it makes it much more difficult for him to grade. That's the Madlib program. I can show you, let me show you uh, my um, solution here. Well not for Madlibs, but here's my solution for Hello World. I wanted to point out all your programs should always have a header. Every source file you submit should have your name, your email, and your description. Helps us keep track of things. Here's Madlib, but I've hidden I've hidden the solution. All right, but again it has a header. And I can go ahead and try and run this. All right. And it crashes because I didn't give it any command line arguments. I can go into run configurations, arguments, and then type in old farm cow and moo. Run it with those command line arguments. Need to expand my console window and this should match the solution on the web page. You don't need to make this robust to uh, to user input. For example, if the user only gives three inputs, it's going to crash. We're not going to worry about that in this first assignment. You can assume the user is going to give four command line arguments. Part three, race time. Race time is a program that computes the absolute difference of two runners who just ran the 5,000 meter. It has six command line arguments. The first three represent the winner's time and the second three represent the loser's time. If the winner came in at 12 minutes, 37 seconds, and 35 hundredths of a second, all right, and here's the loser's time, the command line arguments would be six integers. The first is the number of minutes of the winner, the number of seconds, the number of hundred of seconds, and so on. Your job is to compute the absolute difference between the two times, as well as the relative increase between uh, the loser and the winner. All right, and you can read the little question here if you need to figure out how to do the relative increase. Don't worry about all these extra digits. You should, if you do it correctly, you should get the same output that that we got. Eventually, we'll learn how to format numbers uh, in, a, in a nicer way in Java, but for now, don't worry about it. And again, here's my solution with my header. If I try and run it, all right, it's going to crash because I haven't set the command line arguments. We can set some command line arguments, and we can put in the first example on the web page, run it, and we should get the same answer.